So we've all had an ice cream cone before, but have you ever had a pizza cone? Yes, this video is going to be super twisted. And in fact, we're headed to a place called Twisted Sourdough Pizza. So come along with us for the ride and let's get some pizza in a cone. Right now we're waiting on our food. Uh, we ordered about five different things, so we wanted to get a good variety of stuff. Just going inside, looking at this place, uh, first off, the customer service was awesome. We always got to say that and shout out the people inside because they're amazing. Um, but this place has been open for about a year now. They have a, a cool little bar in front where they can make everything for you. So you can actually see the toppings. You can see the ingredients going inside of your cone. Uh, but then they actually put in a little machine that actually uh, toasts it pretty much, which is a different machine that I think I've ever seen before. So anyways, as soon as we get our food guys, we're gonna show you what we got. So we propped up the camera so both of us can be in screen, but it is 106 degrees outside, which we didn't realize was gonna be this hot today. Anyways, uh, one of the cameras died. So we're just gonna be holding it individually like this. So let's go ahead and try this pizza cone. I'm excited to try their uh, house-made pizza sauce. The Italian tomatoes that they make, that they crush up. Wow, this looks really good. Definitely getting the crystal eyes on. Mm. Is that good? Wow. So this one, does it have that house-made tomato sauce? Mm, it does. It does have that. And I'm not even a huge fan of pepperoni, as you know. But this is absolutely delicious. This is just full of flavor. So good. I can't wait for you to try this. Let's try this salad next. I've never had a salad in a cone before. So let's see how this is. Hold over here because I spill anything. So it looks like the ranch dressing is inside of it, huh? They mixed, they mixed it, it all in. together and then stuffed it in this cone. Mmm. 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 It's good, huh? Mm hmm. I love the olives in here. So let's see, what do we got in there? We got olives in there, we got onions, the lettuce, we got tomatoes. Okay, cool, should we try the next one? Mm -hmm. Let's keep it going. Okay, let's try the Philly cheesesteak next. Ooh. Oh yeah. Mm. Is that good? Mmm, <laughs> so good. I know a lot of people probably just pick up these cones and eat them, which you will in a second, mm -hmm. but I wanted to taste the inside first. The cheese that they use is so flavorful, delicious. And how about the meat? Meat's very quality. Too. Quality, yes. for sure. Chicken Alfredo. Okay. This one has pasta. Okay. None of the other ones did. Ooh, oh. look at that big chunk of chicken right there. Mm. <laughs> Everything is super flavorful. Uh -huh and really fresh. Yeah. You can tell they use very fresh ingredients for this. For sure. So good. That's one of my favorites. Let's have you try it. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so you guys, it's my turn to try this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the, um, what is this one called again? I always forget, Ferrara? Ferroni. Ferroni. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Ferroni. So I love all the cheese in here. Oh, it's so much, it's great. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, that's so good. Isn't it? That's so good. Mm. Yes, get the bread. And we haven't really talked about the bread too much, but apparently they don't use yeast in this bread, right? Right. And it's a 50 year old recipe. Yes it is. Family recipe and everything. So yeah, let me take one more bite. Oh yeah. I like it a lot, but I wanna try the other ones too. So next I'm gonna go ahead and try this salad that Kristen was saying was so good, which does look delicious. Mm. Very good. For us, we're just sampling this, but it's definitely a one person cone. I definitely wouldn't say two people could eat this. However, if you did want to split it, you want to get multiple varieties of it. But that salad is delicious. I love the ingredients. Like you said, it does seem fresh. I'm gonna move on to the next one. All right, now it's time for the Philly cheesesteak, guys. Here we go. Oh, 
Wow. And that one's really good. Wow, this Philly cheesesteak is so good. The meat is incredible. Whatever cheese they're using there is extremely good. I mean, there's different cheeses. You have what seems like, and I could be wrong, mozzarella cheese, but then there's a creamy cheese in there as well. I think so far that might be my favorite. Now you guys, it's time for the pasta one. Ooh. Look at that. Chicken Alfredo. It's pretty good. I like it. Definitely very cheesy. Very flavorful, like I always say. <laughs> the seasoning's great. The chicken tastes really good. It's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's maybe the best Alfredo I've ever had, but it's still very, very good. And when you take a bite of that bread with it, it's a good combo. I like it. One more bite? One more bite. Yeah, it's really good. Very good. I didn't try the bread yet. It looks so good when Jamil was trying it. So let's just see how good this sourdough is, huh? Let me know what you think. Right, it's nice and soft and very, very good. Mmm, yeah. good. I love the crunch. It's very good flavor. In my opinion, if you're just eating what's on the inside, it's really small portions, but if you have this bread, it definitely fills you up more. So each cone is about $7.99. Um, if you have the bread with it, it's worth it. If you only have the inside and no bread, I would say it's not really enough filling. Okay, you guys, so we got the apple pie cone. Looks delicious. It's over 100 degrees outside. She just brought it out. It's melting. Let's go ahead and try this bad boy. Here we go. Mmm. Wow. You're gonna need a bite before this melts. It smells pretty badly, huh? It's delicious. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. Man, this is like really yeah. melting. Get, oh the, my get God. the ice cream, get the uh, pie. Yeah. Just take it all. <laughs> I know, right? Mmm. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Right? Mm hmm. It's literally been here for two minutes and it's just <laughs> melting away. I know. Meanwhile, I'm melting also. I love the fact that they used um, caramel in here as well. Of course, that's what you're supposed to do with like more of an apple pie. It's very flavorful. The apple um, as well, it didn't fully taste like a fresh apple. It tastes like maybe it was frozen, maybe caught up or something frozen. I'm not 100% sure what they do, but it still tastes really good. To mm. me, it tasted fresh. It just tasted al dente mm. or al dente, whatever you call it. Maybe like, it is. Yeah, like the, the it wasn't as mushy of mm -hmm. the apple, but I thought it was very good. Yeah, no, for sure. I was saying more of like, Maybe they prepped it ahead of time. They chopped it up, maybe froze it. I don't know. Listen, I have no idea. Yeah. I'm guessing. <laughs> mm. We gotta stop this because it is hot and it's delicious though. We are here doing the outro a few days after we actually went to the restaurant. Jamil yeah. and I were so drained from the heat Man. after we were done eating and recording that we just couldn't get to it until later, so. Yeah, you guys, if you come to Vegas in the summer, Ugh. don't eat outside unless no. you're ready to pretty much burn all the calories that you just ate. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, so we just wanted to give our final thoughts and review of the restaurant. Overall, it was very, very delicious. You very can tell good. they use great quality ingredients. I do want to say too, I went back inside and I spoke to the owners because there's actually two of them that were in there. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to them for sure because they were actually very, very friendly. Mm -hmm. They actually started by, uh, they sell pizzas there and actually started with pizzas, but then they decided to make a little bit of a twist and that's where the cones come in. So genius. It's a genius idea. Yeah. yeah. My favorite overall, uh, I really like the chicken Alfredo cone. Mm -hmm. Thought it was very good, very full of flavor. Delicious. Yeah. How about you? Um, I think for me, I really enjoyed the Philly cheesesteak one the best. That was good. Um, you guys, I, I love Philly cheesesteaks, and although it didn't quite have this the exact Philly vibe, it had its own style to it, and it was so, so good. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh -huh. The only critique I have is I would love more stuffing in the cone. Maybe they could make like an extra mm. large cone size and just put more stuff in there. Now, um, it wasn't that expensive, so you could get, you know, two cones, which, you know, we got a variety. Yeah. Um, and you still have pay a good price for it, so that's good. But maybe like coming up with some type of an extra large cone with a whole bunch of stuff in the middle, it would have hit a little more for me. It's actually a really good idea. That's true. I yeah. would definitely want to go back and try their pizza. Just our yes. pizza pizza next time. Because yes. I have a feeling that that's just going to be great quality as well. Just like these cones were. Should we grade it? Oh, yes. We're doing a grade system, system. you guys. Mm -hmm. Instead of the number system. Switching it up. We're switching it up. You okay. want first? Yeah. Cool. One, two. Oh, no. no oh, we'll sorry. <laughs> okay. I give it a B plus. Okay. I actually agree. I think a B plus, a B plus is perfect for this place. I think the food was outstanding. Um, so mm -hmm. definitely giving this place a B plus for sure. Okay.
Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. We love you so much. Absolutely. We hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Share and just caring. Let your friends family know what the Kate and JFM are doing. And until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night. Whatever time it is out there, we will see you in our next video. Mm -hmm. Peace. Peace out, Trouts.